Her life signs are fading. Will you save her? I'll think about it. Will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. What doctor? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon! If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Sarif. Sarif? I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly.
I have more questions. And I have already told you too much. This passage will take you to your companion. Just be careful, Adam. Because everybody lies. Jensen? Eliza Kassan just contacted me and told me I should meet you here. You ready to go? Yeah, take us home, Malik. Amen to that. It's broken out. Boss says to drop you at your apartment. I could use a shower. You'll have to make it quick. He's on his way to meet you.
Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. You seen the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not! Except for the Typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts? What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... <laughs> the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us, so we can all become like you. Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is, but Taggart will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. Jensen! You asshole! You cost me my job! Slow down. What happened? What happened? They found out I let you into the morgue! That's what happened! They canned me! Wayne, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. Damn right I didn't. That's the second time you screwed me over. I know. 
and I want to make it up to you for everything you've been through. Seraph Industries lost a lot of good people in the last six months, and we could use someone like you. Oh, really? You're not saying that just to say it. Talk to HR. Tell them I recommend you. Corporate security pays more than being a cop, and you won't be stuck behind a desk. Jeez, I... Yeah. Okay. I need the work, but this better be on the level. It is. None of this is your fault, so let me make it right. Yeah. I just... I should sit down, you know? It's been a long week, and then all this crap. But thanks. I mean it. I want the world to know that we at Tayo Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. Okay. This company prides itself on maintaining a safe okay. environment. seen the footage, but that shit could be gone. <laughs> Training exercises for augmented soldiers? How did they think this was gonna go over? Oh. You okay, sweetheart? sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs>
What's your pleasure? See you soon. What'll it be? See you soon. Jensen, Sarab had me have the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Tiger will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court, in case you want to get chatty with him too. Welcome to Lynn International. Will you be purchasing anything today? Always a pleasure, sir.
Jensen! Oh, Christ! Brent Radford? In the... flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a... a trauma kit I keep. Somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No! No time! The... they could be back. Any minute. Find the kit quickly. If you want... Answers. I'll be back. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus, the pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Sarif got spooked that... that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Sarif. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was. Until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me? Professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people, trying to dig up your... dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Sarif had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't... you don't know. Your parents, your... your real parents. The tests... The fire? What are you, Jensen? Some kind of... freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all... I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are... there. But Michelle knows... Michelle knows more. You need to stop... You need to stop... them. Fuck. You... Robot, this, this is all your fault. Give me, give me another shot. Morphine, or go fuck yourself. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative. Already, robot. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? Uh, your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Do robots even believe in angels? 
Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul, when they built you. <laughs> Tell me, what was it like when you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain, and the morphine is... Just find her before they do. You, you owe her that much. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when, when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They, they fucking pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know... What a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair, shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen. I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should, should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm gonna get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Is this what you really want? There's a bear, pope in the woods. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I fucked that one up. Listen, robot. If I could do it myself, I would. I got no family left. No one left to mourn. It's for the best. I ain't gonna be no burden on society. Last chance, Brent. Just fucking do it. It'll be quick. I know. You... You did a good thing. Here. The ones that did this. I'll find them. Look at you. An iron g g giant with a heart of g g gold. B b b but don't do, do it f for me. D d do it f for her. For m m Michelle. You owe her here. Life. Access granted.
You want to buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? around. What are you doing? Richard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He didn't make it. There was nothing I could do. Right. I'll call it in. You have a new lead, at least? Yeah. I'm on my way there now. I'll contact you when I have more.
course he is. Someone's running. I know Mr. Dunn. What are you Stop doing him? here? You had enough? Access granted. 